Hey everyone, today I'm sharing a hidden slider card using the Love Cynthia's Your Super stamp set. And since I plan on using mostly distressed inks for the background, I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock and cutting it down to an A2 size base. I'll go ahead and also die cut a cityscape using a retired clearly besotted die and um, my favorite thing, stitch scallop edges for the sky. For the background, I want to create a nighttime sky and I like to layer a bunch of colors. So I'll start by placing bright colors down first and then I'll go in with the darker colors to create that nighttime effect. And as you can see, um, the only space that I'm leaving alone is at the bottom where I'm going to ink it up with fossilized amber. And fossilized amber is that perfect color that shows through um, the cityscape and it looks like the city is alive. So I'll go ahead and ink down the bottom and I'll be playing with it until I get everything blended nicely and where it looks like the light is just shining through the sky. And once I get that done, I'll go ahead and ink up the die cut for the sky, which I cut down to about two inches. And I do that because I wanna leave enough space to be able to cover the slider since it will be hidden but also to leave enough space for the sentiment. And for the sentiment, I'm going to be using the Greeting Farms Little Hero stamp set. And I want to make sure that the sentiment is dark, so I double stamp it using the Misty. And I'm ready to glue down that cityscape using a bit of score tape and also a multimedia matte glue. When I make a slider channel, I use three things. The Lawn Fawn Slide On Over Dies, the My Favorite Things Slider Disc, and two small circle die cuts. And I like using score tape to put everything together because while you can use glue, it's kind of messy and you have to wait for it to dry and you don't want it to be sticky on the disc. So you want it to be able to run through the channel very easily. So back to the card. For the top part of the card, I use two layers of foam tape around the edges um, and that will prop it up so that the slider channel won't rub up against it and it'll move freely. I also cut a little strip that will connect the image to the slider. Normally you would just put the image directly on the slider disc, but because I have the cloud as the top part hiding the slider channel, I want the image to be right beneath it moving it around. So I had a bit of an issue with the superhero image I picked because his cape kept getting caught in the clouds when it moved. So once I had everything assembled, I realized I needed to switch it out. So I went ahead to add the foam to the back of the card and I also used two layers for it. Before I placed everything down and finalized the card, I chose a different image instead. And I color her using a mix of Copics and Spectrum Nora markers. All the colors will be listed below as well. For coloring, I put down the darkest color first and then the lightest and I'll use a color in between to blend it all out. Usually for each section, I'll use two to three markers to help create a dimensional look. And for this particular stamped image, I went with the Superman color theme of a little bit of red, blue, and yellow. And these images were really easy to cut out too. I didn't want a white outline for it since it's going to be put up against a nighttime sky and I thought that with the white outline it would be a little too harsh and it'll make it stand out too much for me. I removed the little boy image and replaced it with the girl image. Since the background was just mainly distressing, I wanted to add a little accent to part of the card. So I use a white jelly roll pen to dot down stars and I know with distressing you can use water splatters but I like this effect better. And I'll also color in the block letters of the sentiment in blue to match the little girl so it all ties together. And here's my finished card. It was actually a pretty easy one since the background was created from die cuts and distressings. And the main part of it is the slider on top, which is really easy to put together. So I hope you enjoy this card and have a great day. Thanks!